it seems like there's no more appropriate place for the movie's premiere to take place than nah, here at the I Air know. and Space Museum. Being surrounded by all the memorabilia from the space program and, and other aviation accomplishments, what does it mean to have First Man's premiere here? Oh, it's incredible. I've never been here before in my life, so just as a person, I'm really excited. But also, it's amazing to be surrounded by so many kind of, of the things that are, you know, shown in the movie. It's just a really amazing, it's amazing. It's a once in a lifetime thing. You know, when you're making a movie, you sort of see, for lack of a better way of putting it, how the sausage is made. But, <laughs> <laughs> but, then, you fi but, but then you get to finally see the film. What excites you most about the fact that in a week, Audiences around the world are, it's the movie, are going to take the movie out of all of your hands and they're going to sort of have their own experiences with it. Just the, just the experience of it. I think it, the movie has to be seen uh, to an experience in a way because it because it, you are put in that, you're put in the cockpit at all times with Ryan, with Neil. Um, and so it's kind of a first-hand experience of what these missions were like for these men and these families. It's, uh, it's very unique. So... There's all the time that you prepare for a movie and make a movie and edit a movie, but then there's that moment where you have to give it up to the audience, which is now a week away. What excites you most about people getting a chance to experience First Man and see Neil Armstrong's story? God, well, you know, I mean, I, I, I think it's the same thing that got me excited in the first place to make it. You know, it's, it's that uh, for such a famous event that we all know of, famous name, Neil Armstrong, that we all grow up knowing, uh, I, I found there's such a tremendous amount that's not known and that's been untold about him, his story, and this mission. Um, so I think that was what was really exciting to me to make, was just to try to shed light on that, show the things people didn't see, uh, strip away the mythology a little bit, look at how actually difficult this was and the human beings who made it happen. This wasn't superheroes, this wasn't robots, this was you know ordinary human beings thrust into extraordinary circumstances doing extraordinary things. I think that's what I'm excited to hopefully convey with the movie. And how appropriate is it that we're here at the Air and Space Museum for the premiere? It's very appropriate. Yeah, it's exciting. I haven't been here since I was a kid, so. You've had so much time with the process of living with the movie and making the movie, and now the audience gets a chance to see it. What excites you most about people getting to see Damien's movie and the way your family in particular is, is portrayed? I'm, I'm very, very excited about the world sort of seeing this picture and maybe going in thinking it's one thing and then coming out and finding out that it's something above and beyond what their expectations are. Yeah, I know for me, just from reading the script, I felt like my mind was kind of blown and so I can imagine that someone's seen it for the first time and having that experience is going to be ten times better, so I'm excited. What excited you both the most when you saw the film for the first time? Ooh, what excited? Just kind of like how it really captured, uh, I mean, just went beyond my expectations of capturing the people and kind of what went into this huge monumental accomplishment. I was excited that it felt so different. You know, it's Damien really stuck with his guns and didn't, you know, make it movie-ish. And it's really unique, and I, I was proud of that, yeah. I think we're in the most appropriate place for this premiere to take place, the Air and Space Museum. You know, how does this feel for you, both of you emotionally to be here knowing that there are artifacts from your yes. father's career actually right behind that That's what, Yeah, I, have, I told Olivia I'm taking her over there to see it, you know, which I'm not, I, it is. There's a lot of history, so there's a lot of emotion in here. I started crying when I walked in the door, so I, that's probably how I feel. It's just yeah. emotional. Yeah. But you cried because you're excited. I actually cried because I saw her brother. I met her brother for the first time, and that was pretty emotional. Yeah. But I think that it's because this whole experience feels... It's just very, very real. And this yeah. place certainly brings a lot of things. You know, there's all around the room various things that are very important to our history as a country. For a man who was notoriously camera shy, you guys are having to release his whole world, his whole story to the world next week when the film comes out. What are you most anticipating in terms of how people are going to renew their relationship with Neil Armstrong and have a better understanding of who he was? Uh, I hope they get you know a better sense of, of all, some more facets of him that, that they may not have known. You know, he was a pretty funny guy. And uh, that his sense of humor, I think, comes out in the film in a number of ways, which we, we're really glad to see. As well as his, you know, musical ability, and you know, I think he was uh, he he was mischaracterized over his career by by the media, and 
I think this movie sets the record straight. Does it feel strange for such a private life to suddenly be so public vis-a-vis a film? Well, again, it's we'll find it's out. good yeah. it's good to see it done the right way, uh, and and I think that that's that's far better than people continuing to to, to misunderstand misunderstanding. How appropriate is it that we're here at the Air and Space Museum for the premiere? Absolutely, it's like the perfect very, spot. Yeah, yeah. couldn't yeah. be better. Um, you guys have seen the film multiple times. What excites you about multiple seeing it again? Well. The, the IMAX presentation is is so dramatic. Um, I think the first time I watched it, I, w- it, I was caught by surprise, and this time I'm, I'm ready for it, so I'll be able to uh, to process it even better. You can uh, you can start to pick up some of the subtleties when you're watching it. You know, uh, you know after the first time, uh, you appreciate some of the details uh, that might have slipped by the first time. You know, you put a lot of energy into this movie, and it's been a part of your life for a number of years now. You're at the point where you're turning it over to the audience. What excites you most about the audience getting a chance to experience Damien's film? Well, there's a lot of things. You know, first of all, I think it's just I'm excited for people to learn more about this story, to get to know the Armstrongs in a way that we did, um, to understand just, you know, that it wasn't this, you know, predestined success, that it was you know, really hard-earned and, and incredibly uh, filled with so much sacrifice and uh, uh, personal sacrifice, especially, you know, for everyone involved. But, you know, we focus on the Armstrong's um, experience of it. And then on, on just a purely cinematic level, I mean, you know, you you start under the wing of a B-52 bomber, you're shot out into the atmosphere and you end on the moon, you know, just as, a, as an experience uh, in and of itself, it's pretty exciting. And if I were to pick a place to have a premiere for this movie, it seems like there's no better place than the Air and Space Museum. What does it feel like having the film, you know, shown here amongst all of this memorabilia and historical artifacts? Well, I was so excited when they picked here to have the premiere. It just seemed like such a perfect place to do it. It's my first time here, and uh, I hope I get a chance to see it.